Hi, and welcome to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this tutorial, we're just going to go over some of the more complex UVing techniques that I used um, whilst doing this uh, model. You can see that now I've finished the UVing, so hopefully soon that we should be on go on to the texturing stage. But for this one, I'm just going to quickly go through probably this one bit that might be a little bit complicated. It's, it's not too complicated, but there's a couple of little things that I used to um, sort of make it correct. And it was just this bit here. So just can isolate that. And you can see it's nicely UV'd now. And we've got our UVs that are wrapping around here and wrapping around here as well. So now if we go to our UV editor, just gonna... I will do a, a UV layout as well of how I've laid all this out. So you can see these are all straight. So, you're thinking, well, why have I had problems with this? And it weren't really big problems. There was just a couple little techniques that you can use to um, get these straight. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, delete the UVs and do it again. So, I'm just going to UV, just so you can see the sort of problems I had. So, I delete the UVs. Got no UVs now. Just do a camera base. So, like with all of them, I'm just going to go through the same thing. Let's just turn our default material on. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to collect the inner edge of these bevels. I'm just double double clicking, selecting all those edge loops holding control shift to select them all. We can just minimize that for now. Oh. So you can press F to focus in on it just in case it's not zooming too well. So we've got that edge and they'll be highlighted on the ones that you can sort of see that you've selected. Make sure you get these middle ones. There's quite a lot of edge loops to select. So now we've come into this sort of section here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to my UV toolkit and select a cut. So now I've cut those edges there, and you can see them highlighted. Because the way this is sort of built, this is going to be the end. And you know, on stainless steel, it's kind of got the grooves in the in the metal, the texture. So we want to make sure that that's flowing the right way. So obviously, they'd be going following it round. So we have to make sure that this is a separate part. You're probably thinking this is actually probably quite easy to do, and yeah, most of it is pretty, pretty easy. So I'm just going to cut that. I'm just going to go to the. So I'm going to select this edge. And I want to cut these out as well. Let's cut all the way around, which is what we want. Mm. We can leave that, that's probably fine. Let's just cut that. Just so we're not having loads in our selection. And if we get stuck, we just Press F to focus in on our edges. So I'm just going around and selecting all my seams that I want to cut. I probably should have showed you what automatic looks like. Um, it never looks particularly great. So just select that edge loop. 
And I've probably missed some. But we can find them quite easily in the in the UV editor. my UV editor. Cool. Now I'm just going to start selecting my UV shells. Control U. Just going to pull this out of the way. Control U again. I'm just going to not worry about the size at the moment. Just want to make sure that these are all disconnected and they're still connected around here so I think we forgot to actually cut those edges. And if we've cut too many, we can just re sew it. It's not a problem. So let's just cut that. Slip our UV shell. Now we can see if we unfold this, Control U, we start to get these curves. Obviously, we don't want that flat, so we'll probably flatten, straighten that out. So I'm just going to organise all this out of the way. Got some slight curvature there, but it's not as big as these. Two bits here which seem to have split or they're on top of each other over here. Let's just check something by pulling that. There's no. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Now we need to just cut these. It's pretty simple to do. Just going to select an edge on all of them. Just double click. Try and select edges where there's not huge curves unless it's the perfect cylinders not that it particularly matters I'm just double double clicking all of it then I'm just gonna select cut select all of it control U now that's all unwrapped apart from one so I'm just gonna select the edge cut and control U to unfold that And they're all kind of at a crazy angle, don't worry about that for now. We can just select them all. And we can scroll down and select orientate shells. And this is where you want to pick which direction you want your directional sort of materials to go. So like grain stuff. And I always tend to always always have it left to right. Everyone's everyone's different, but and it doesn't really matter per se. Um, all that matters is that you have it consistent. So if you're having grain materials, as in like directionals, so like wood grain or metal texture, make sure you've got it either going left to right or up and down. Don't mix them because it will make it very difficult. It won't make it difficult, it's just a, a very annoying thing to have to reorientate your uh, UV shells because you don't keep them orientated one way. Cool, so let's just investigate. These bits. Okay, so that is still on there because we just cut it too much off, I think. Yeah. So let's just re sew that back on. Doesn't matter that it's um, 
little bit wonky. We're gonna unfold it again. So resume that. And control U. Cool. So now we've got all these parts, and most of them are pretty straight, apart from these ones. And you'll get this quite a lot. You'll have these edges. So if we turn our default material on. And obviously the issue of this, let's center on it to try and get a good view, is that if we put a directional texture on, if we put a directional texture on this, it's not gonna follow it. It's just gonna curve down. So we need to make sure every, all our UVs are straight as possible. So one of the tools that we can use is literally just straighten UV. So we can go straighten UVs. And it will straighten them all out, but then you'll have some sort of problems here, which you'll need to fix. So if you just select optimize, and you can see it's sort of breaking sometimes, so you might want to need to control U, undo that. And you can try it again, see if it makes a, a better result. But I imagine it's probably gonna do the same thing. So what we want to do is either try and split this, because this is obviously going to a shorter edge. And because it's on the edge, it doesn't matter so much. So we're gonna cut that again. Select the UV shells, control U and unfold. And that's, almost straighten that out. We can orientate it. And now let's use the straighten. You always want, when you use a straighten, you always want to check your edges because sometimes it does overlap things that you don't see. So we can select optimize straight away afterwards and it will sort of relax that. Whenever I use straighten UVs, I always do an optimize after. Cool, so we've got that now pretty straight and it's looking really good. So let's do the same for this. Let's orientate it, straighten the UVs. And it's done the same thing. So we can optimize it again. Straighten the UVs. Then optimize again. You wanna make sure you orientate it because it's still kind of broken over here. And you can keep going backwards between straight and unfold and you won't get what you want. So what we can do is, it didn't do it on this first one. When I first did this, it actually did it quite a lot on all of this. So um, it's not doing it as bad. So, um, so in this, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna select my this sort of inner edge here, because this is the longest edge, the reason why I'm, so it's better to explain it, because um, as this slopes in, it's actually gonna be shorter. So I want my longer edge first. And the reason why I'm selecting my longer edge, so I'm gonna select this, and then use straight and UV. And you can sort of see It's, you know, actually what we'll do. Go to UV show on control U. It's not worked so well. We're we'll straight UVs on that. This is what it was doing before. It was, um, and what might be happening with you. So it kind of straightens it, but it doesn't do it in a very good way sometimes. Let's just undo that and see if I can actually recreate that again. Straighten UVs. Yeah, so. This was the problem I was having before, it was just not working. So the easiest thing that I could do is so once you've done this, after every time you straighten your UV, you want to optimize it. And obviously now we can just do straighten UV and it will still do the same thing. So I'm just going to select optimize so it relaxes it. Then I'm going to go to my vertex. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to select these vertices here. And what I can do now, because I've got these flat, I can go to edit, pin selection. So now that's this, that's stuck there. That's not gonna move. So now I can go to my UV shell, 
press Control u and it will unfold it. And now you can see that it's sort of, it's spreading the sort of straightening out. So now if I edit unpin all, then straighten UVs, it's, it's sort of done it, but it's working its way further out. So you've probably figured out what we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna select optimize again. So it relaxes it, get to vertices. Vertex. Obviously you don't want to select the ones right up to the edge because that's probably got some not so straight bits. So I'm just selecting those, go edit, pin selection, UV shell, control U to unfold it. Then go edit, unpin, and straighten UVs again. So now it's starting to work out the kinks. And then I'll go optimize. And you can see now we've got pretty much a perfectly straight edge now. And we can need to go in and check things like this. So if we optimize it, it's always good. Whenever you're using straight and always check, always check your sort of type bevels because it will Sometimes it will just like straighten over the top and you'll have overlapping uh, UVs, which does not go well in um, some sort of texture software like Substance, it can break the baking. But cool, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And we'll go through and we'll do the other one. So we don't need to unwrap that again. We can just cut that where we were before. UV shell, control U, and that one works pretty well. I'm gonna make sure that I orientate it, straighten UVs, then optimize afterwards so it's not got any kinks. That's fine. So now I'm gonna do straighten UV. And it's kind of broken, so I'm just going to do that. Orientate the shell. Cool. So it's done it again. So it's going to select the vertices. Edit, pin selection, UV shell, control U to unfold. Edit, unpin all. Select it and straighten UVs. Um, I think we can actually just change this. Just looking at that. I don't think that helps. No, let's leave that. Okay, so let's just carry on. Let's go vertex, edit, Pin selection, control U, edit unpin all, straighten UVs, and optimize. Then you want to orientate. Cool, like I say before, always check your type bevels because it could overlap. And we're pretty much done. Like these bits are, what we'll do is select all of our our shells, then I'm just going to go to my text density and set them so they're all the same. So now I'm just going to quickly uh, organize them just so we can have a quick look and we're pretty much done. This should be a pretty quick tutorial on how to do little complex shapes. this over and organize this cool so we've got all our see and I always like to sort of when I organize my UVs because I shift them around quite a lot I always try to work in a my longest sort of cube section so at the moment I'm going to work in a two by two so let's select these I'm just going to organize them so they're nice and tidy and some people like to put them really like pixel type um 
you know, I sometimes leave gaps. It's not, it's not like games where you have to be like, you, you have to really optimize your UV space. You still have to do that in VFX. It's just uh, you have more flexibility in VFX, I guess, because you can use way more UDIMs. But having good uh, UV housekeeping, I guess, would be called. It would be called is um, good, and people appreciate it, especially at texturists, or if you're texturing it just helps and I'll go through after this one I'll go through my app because I've now finished UVing it and I'll go through um, my UV layout and what I've done so you get an idea of my sort of methods behind some of the bits some of the UVs I guess and and after that we're pretty much done on the UV side of it we just got to texture it then do all the other bits. So you can sort of see. Got lots of dead space here, and I can sort of pack that in. I can use this a bit wisely. Cool. Obviously, we want to be in the first. Obviously, that's for the pixel dense the texel density that I've been using throughout the project, so don't worry about that. So now we can see that all our UVs are really good and they're all, all curving around so if we did put a uh, directional texture on there it would, it would go around so like the edge of the uh, sort of the metal sort of shading would work really well so yeah that was a pretty quick tutorial but if you um enjoyed that uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this